Welcome back to The Ed Show. Uh, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee appears to be struggling for attention. On Breitbart Radio, he invoked the Holocaust to slam President Obama's Iran deal. And this president's foreign policy is the most speckless uh, in American history. Uh, he's so naive, he would trust the Iranians and he would take the Israelis and basically march them to the door of the oven. This is the most hideous thing. This Iran deal should be rejected by both Democrats and Republicans in Congress and by the American people. The Anti-Defamation League blasted Huckabee for the Holocaust comparison. The group has been critical of the Iranian agreement, but called Huckabee's comments, quote, out of line and unacceptable. Huckabee stands by his remarks, and he's campaigning on it. Joining me tonight on a rapid response panel, Congressman John Garamendi of California, also with us tonight, to Katrina Vanden Heuvel, editor of The Nation, which turns 150 years this month. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Congressman, would this spoil or motivate any kind of uh, debate in Congress, what Huckabee is saying? Is he characterizing something that maybe some behind closed doors are saying in Congress about this Iranian deal? I don't think so. Uh, while there's a lot of opposition to the um, accord, um, I don't know anybody in Congress that's using language that is so outlandish and frankly reprehensible. Uh, there is opposition to be sure, but I think the question all of us need to ask ourselves is, okay, we vote this down, then what? Then Iran's free to build a bomb, and they could do so in three months. So maybe 10, 15, 25 years is a whole lot better than three months. Those are the kind of questions we need to ask ourselves in a cool, analytical way, not with the kind of rhetoric that Huckabee's tossing around. Well, I mean, Huckabee, uh, is not going to be voting on this, but others might be. And to embolden right. the Tom Cottons of the world, I mean, Congressman, right. I is this the way the opposition really thinks? Not to mention that he just said that the President of the United States would walk the Israelis right to the ovens? Does President well, Obama deserve something like that? Well, of course not. No president deserves that, and no one that wants to be president should ever be talking like that. They have a very, very important responsibility, and that's they want to be the president of the United States. You better start acting like that. However, we need to know that uh, the votes are probably in Congress to over to uh, vote this deal down. But the question then comes, are the votes there for a veto override? And I think not. I hope not, because as I said earlier, and I think I was right about this, without this deal, there won't be sanctions uh, except those that the United States imposes. I don't believe the other five uh, major countries plus the EU will stand by if the United States trashes this deal. We are in a situation where we're a whole lot better off with this deal than without this deal. And that's how we yeah. ought to move forward. Uh, you need those votes to ensure that the president can veto well, what would be I, so I, destructive for the United States. I, I think those yeah, votes are that. going to... Well, I think the votes are going to be there at the end of the day. Right now, there's a lot of huffing and puffing and beating of the chest and, and uh, phenomenal rhetoric, particularly from the presidential candidates on the Republican side. We hear some of that, uh, or we hear a lot of that in Congress also. Uh, but the reality is that eventually, after these 45 days have passed, and we're going to have to stand up and vote one way or another about whether we're going to give Iran, by voting uh, to trash this deal, either in the outright or in the veto, uh, we're giving Iran a free pass to build a nuclear weapon. And they have the potential of building 10 nuclear weapons within the next three months or shortly thereafter. That's a yeah. really dangerous situation. No we ought not go there. We're better off with 10, 15, 25 years with Iran not having a nuclear weapon. Congressman John Garamendi, Katrina Vanden Heuvel of the Nation. Great to have both of you Thank with you. us on the Ed Show. Thanks for the conversation. Thank Still ahead.